In the middleweight division at UFC Vegas 79, you got Jacob Malkoon taking on Cody Bruntage. Malkoon just 7 and 2, Bruntage 8 and 5. Bruntage 3 inches taller at 6 feet tall. Both guys in their late 20s, Brundage giving up just one inch in reach. Both guys staying right-handed. Now the difference, uh, the differences between the two, Malkoon much more active, 3.7 significant strikes per minute to 1.8 for Cody. And Malkoon also lands more takedowns. Nearly two per round, Brundage one per round. Of course, those numbers will come down as they have more fights. So takedown defense is important. Malkoon hasn't really had to defend the takedowns yet. He had nine in his last fight against Nick Maximov. Cody Brundage, 73% takedown defense. So not bad there. So Malkoon can land takedowns, as we saw in the last fight. Also against Brendan Allen, he had seven of them. That's crazy. Even though he lost that fight by decision, he had seven takedowns. Cody Brundage, losing three in a row to Cedric Stumas, decision. Wow, only had three significant strikes in that. That's it. That doesn't even seem real. 17 to 3 in significant strikes. Against Rodolfo Vieira, 20 to 10, he led, but he was submitted by arm triangle. Lost to Mikhail Lexichuk early in the first round. So, you know, I can see why Jacob Malkoon is such a heavy favorite in this fight. The takedown game is going to be ridiculous. He's got a major edge there, and it's, you know, Cody Brundage just isn't landing. A lot of significant strikes. And maybe he wants to land some takedowns in this fight, but Malkoon is going to be better in that department and on the ground. So it's going to be an easy win for Jacob Malkoon. The question is, will he get the finish? We'll have to wait and see. But Jacob Malkoon wins this fight with control time, likely by decision to move to 8-2, and two, middleweight division, UFC Vegas 79.